Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is 31 Days of Halloween, Day 11, Candy Corn Monster. I went ahead and got my supplies ready. I have three different colors of Primoscopy. I have an orange, yellow, and a translucent. I have my foil that I'm going to use for my base. I have a couple beads for his eyes. And then I have some pre-sculpted teeth. Now these I made back for my carrot monster. So I did bake them. That way I can place them into it without distorting the shape. And then I have my tools for using on my candy corn monster. So I'll go ahead and kind of set some of the stuff aside and I'll start shaping my foil. So I just want to get it in a nice triangular shape, kind of match that of a piece of candy corn. And a little known fact, or major known fact if you know me, I love candy corn. I love it mixed with peanuts. It's something my dad used to get, you know, as a snack around Halloween. So it's kind of a tradition for me to do that every year. It's just a good combination of, you know, sweet and salty. But anyway... So I've got my shape and I've softened up my yellow clay. I'm going to start sculpting it around the base. I don't want to have like a perfect line. I want it to be just a little bit angular. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and I will start working on the orange clay. So like the yellow clay, I'm going to go ahead and soften up the orange clay a little bit before I start applying it to the sculpture. This will make it easier to blend in a little bit with the yellow and smooth out any edges. Plus, I, you know, it kind of helps the clay from not cracking. You want to make sure it's nice and conditioned. So I'm just going to wrap it around. I do have it a little bit thick so that way I can carve into it. I'm going to have, you know, do indentions for the mouth and the eyes and stuff. So, so I'm getting this applied, I'm going to go ahead and smooth out that seam line a little bit. And then I'm going to cut off some extra on the top and it go up a little bit higher than what I wanted. And then I'll go ahead and merge my two colors together. And if you ever notice on a piece of candy corn, sometimes you can kind of, you know, see a little bit of a blend between the two colors right at that, you know, right where they meet. Since I'm done with the orange clay, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands again. Get them nice and clean so I don't have any color transfer to the translucent clay. But one thing I noticed, I had a little of a speck on the yellow. So I'm using some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip to clean that speck off there. Now I will just condition my translucent clay. Get that nice and soft. And I'll sculpt that out to be the top of the candy corn monster. And I chose translucent over like white or pearl because a lot of candy corn I see kind of has a, a little bit of a translucent look to it. So I thought this would look better and be, you know, look a little more accurate. So I did get this piece a little bit big. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit and I'm going to dig it out with the ball tool so it'll cover up that foil. And then I'm just going to smooth in my edges to look like it's you know, all one piece. Now with that done, I can start sculpting out the spots for the eyes. Now I'm using two different sizes of pearl or uh, black beads. So I did use different ball tools to open up those spots. And now I'm going to cut out for the mouth. Now I did cut it into where the foil was, so I put a little more orange clay in there. Now I can start building up his eyebrows. I want him to look all evil. So I put a little bit of clay over the top of those two uh, black beads for the eyes. And now I'm gonna start adding the teeth. So a lot of these teeth were a little bit long, so I did trim some of them. And I can just, they're really easy to cut with an exacto knife when they're baked like this, especially since they're not very thick. But the smaller ones definitely worked better. And I wanted to just give him this kind of a mess of a jagged mouth with a lot of little pointy teeth. So I just get all those in place. And I'm using my ball tool to kind of 
make little indentions or little holes for those to slide into so that way I can place them where I want. And the last thing I'm going to do is use my ball tool and my needle tool to just go over the, the entire piece, smooth it out some, add some texture. When you look at a piece of candy corn, it's not very perfect. They're pretty cheap little candy, but they definitely have a certain look. So I wanted to try to replicate that the best I could with this candy corn monster. And once I was happy with the sculpt, I decided to go ahead and add a scar over his right eye with my needle tool and he'll be ready to be baked. Now it's time to bake our clay. Remember, always bake your clay according to package instructions. And here is the finished candy corn monster. Take a little closer look at this guy. Look at those beautiful teeth. I'm really happy how he turned out. He was a lot of fun to do. He just kind of looked like this grumpy piece of candy. I think it'd be fun to make some smaller ones or do a whole bunch and put them in a bowl. Just, I don't know, he was just fun to make and I like doing little monster food things. He definitely reminded me of when I did my evil carrot monster. That was another piece I had a lot of fun with. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check that out. Like I said earlier, that is where I made the teeth for this video. If you haven't checked out my other Halloween videos, I did make a playlist down below. And I'm posting a new Halloween video every day this month. All right, thanks for watching. And remember, never stop creating. Bye. If you'd like a piece of your Halloween artwork featured in my final 31 Days of Halloween video, please hashtag Andrews 31 Days of Halloween 2019 on Instagram or email it to me at andrewschmettclaycreations at gmail.com. I will put this information down in the description box below so you don't have to copy it off of the screen. Uh, deadline for submissions is October 26th and one submission per artist. <music>